Bryce Cunningham ready to go to work for Vanderbilt and Indiana State. First pitch swinging, a liner right at Tate Colwick. One pitch and one gone. Josue Urdaneta at the plate. This is a rocket down the right field line. Hit deep and gone. Home run for Urdaneta. 11th in the Missouri Valley in batting average. Hits his fifth home run to get the Sycamores on the board first. It's 1-0. Indiana State always comes in ready to play here at Hawkins Field and swinging early. We saw Shea for the first batter swinging on the first pitch. Hit up the middle and will get through. Jones wastes no time in extending that hit streak to 19 games. Two out base runner for Vanderbilt. Jones on the move on a 1-2 pitch. He slides in safely. Keegan trying to come up with a two out hit, but not this time as cut strikes him out on a high fastball to retire the side of that throw if you're not sure. And that pitch hits Ross, so a guy who's second in the Missouri Valley and batting average at 377. 2-2 two -two on the way. Line drive, right center field. That's what we were talking about a moment ago. Base hit for McGill. Brings the runner Ross to the plate and makes it 2-0 Indiana State. He's at second, and the payoff to Schaefer hit him. Make it 20. Make it 20 <laughs> indeed as Schaefer heads down to first. 2-0 pitch. Rocket to left. Vaz looking for the big wall. Couldn't get to it. Bangs off the fence. One run is in. Schaefer is going to come around to score. Herdanetta having himself a big night in the first two innings. A two RBI double. Sycamore is four. Commodore is nothing. On the opposite side. Swing Except for there. Yeah, mm -hmm. got him there. Strikes out Diaz on the slider to end the end. Indiana State, but here's a long drive by Diaz. Deep to left, and Vanderbilt is on the board. A solo blast from the Commodore shortstop. Make it 4-1. to one. Yeah, Somebody needed to get it going. Davis Diaz says, well, that'll be me. Got a fastball up in the zone, and... Finally puts the Commodores on the board. A heck of a swing. Second home run for Diaz in RBI 19. Hard hit ball, left center field. Jones specializes in this. He's going to take the turn and try to make it two. Got there sliding safely. Thing lead. Vanderbilt on the board and trying to get some more. A rocket off the pitcher cuts. Knocks it down and won't be able to make a play. Keegan hit a smash right back up the middle, and the Commodores have runners at first and third. Battling back from 2-0. and oh, Runs it full. I got a piece of Bulger to load the bases. So that home run in game one against the Bulldogs. Maybe a double play ball for Indiana State. Safe at first. They got the out at second as Jones comes across to score to make it 4-2, to two. and Vaz hustling out of the box. Able to stay out of the double play. Long look, and the one-two pitch is swung on and missed, and Indiana State gets a big second out as Kolick is retired. Begin a run on a fielder's choice. Rocket, right field, but right at Ross. Flags it down to end the inning. Parker Nolan. Fly ball center field. They may get him out for the first time tonight. They didn't see it. The center fielder, Gurgley, That's never three. saw that ball. Jones going to dig for third. And make it without too much difficulty. We talked about the tough time of day. Indiana State's outfielders, especially the center fielder, Seth Gurgley, had no idea where that ball was. He's in Jack Leiter. Bounce to Short's going to get the run home. RBI number 51 for Keegan on a bounce out to Short as Jones comes across to make it a one-run game. Location that Vandy is in, so these are huge opportunities for both teams to get a look at each other. One out base hit off the bat of Jordan Schaefer gives Indiana State a base runner. Three balls and a strike. There's ball four. Puts runners to the corners for Aaron Beck. Hanson's first pitch. Bounce to the left side. It is Diaz. Plays to first, and Hanson does the job. In the track. Spencer Jones slapped to the left side. Rocket throw to first. And Jones is safe for his fourth hit of the night.
Hard hit back up the middle. Bulger has his first knock. Jones oh. going to put on the brakes at second base. He had thoughts of going he to did. third, and that was a good call. Hey, he was looking at Tim Corbin, looking at it. Runners go on three and two. Vaz pulls it to the right side. Ferdinetta throws him out, and the threat is over for Vanderbilt. In the count to the leadoff man. That's ball four to Watson. It's in a 2-1 pitch coming up to Schaefer. That's going to get through for a base hit to left. Majors with a play in front of him. Puts on the brakes. Indiana State with a ninth inning threat as Schaefer records his second hit. One out and two on. Smash. Pass to diving Carter Young. Bradfield gets to it. Runner coming to the plate. The throw will not be nearly in time and now gets past Dominic Keegan, but Hanson backing up the play. Indiana State adds a big insurance run on a single by Erdinetta. Just explodes once it gets to the plate. And you see all the movement there as well. Diaz swings first pitch. It gets past Keegan. The runners move up 90 feet after the ball got away. 2-2, hit up the middle. Smothered by Colwick. What a play. Gets the out at first, but Indiana State pushes across another run to make it 6-3. to three. The second fantastic play recorded by Colwick tonight. Hammered to center field. Going to bring home another run as Indiana State breaks this game open in the ninth inning. Keto off the bench for an RBI single. 0-2 from Evans. Swung on and missed. That will do it for Indiana State in the ninth, but three big runs. Where you're on top of the dugout, just freezing. You've been a, a trooper. I was excited to, to be able to wear sleepless for once. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I was lucky. Long drive, right field. Parker Nolan. That was Hammers crushed. one out of here to right center. Cut the lead in half for Indiana State. That makes it seven to five. That guy caught it in his hat. I yeah, believe. He did. I think he did. Yeah, I think he held it up. He had it in his hat there. Yeah, heck of a swing there by Parker Nolan as we get the light show here at Hawkins Field. Two run homer. Fourth of the season. RBI is 13 and 14. To Young. Ball four. A nice at bat there. Yep. In for Vanderbilt here in the ninth. Bradfield smacks it to right field for a base hit. Young stops at second as the right fielder Ross got to it quickly. Talked about no need to gamble on the bases. Vanderbilt has the tying runs on and getting to the part of the batting order that you want up there. Still nobody out in the Vanderbilt ninth. Diaz gets the bunt down. It's a good one. Played by Diaz at third. He throws him out and now the tying runs are in scoring position. That's tough to do right after you get a ball thrown right at your face. Jones. 2-0, big bouncer to third. Diaz now is going to try to come get Bradfield at third, and they won't get anybody. Run scores to make it 7-6 to six as Young comes home, and now the tying run is 90 feet away. Diaz probably could have had it out at first. This could be on his horse. 1-2, swung on and missed as Spencer fans Keegan for a gigantic second out of this ninth inning. And here comes Bradfield. He will score the time run. Incredible. Oh he Incredible. steals home as Indiana State <laughs> kind of fell asleep. And here came Enrique to make it seven apiece. I'm not going to lie, that uh, caught me off guard. Yeah. I was looking down at my notes, and by the time I looked up, Enrique Bradfield, goodness. That speed. Uh, he also had the, the option, or Spencer, the pitcher, was actually looking at Spencer Jones. Stealing from first base. Pitch to McKenzie. Fly ball. Deep right center field. To the track and caught on a fantastic catch in center field. Seth Gurgley saves the day for Indiana State. Oh. Fastball up and in. Got Ross. He hit by a pitch for the second time tonight. Runner on the move, line drive towards center. Bradfield not going to get to that one. Ross stays put at second base. 
as Gurgley records a hit. And two aboard now with Indiana State getting things rolling here. Oh, payoff. And oh, plate umpire Phil Kundal took a moment to think about it. It's strike three as Taylor is called out. Strike to Schaefer. Here comes Little. And was grazed by a pitch to load the bases. Hit for the cycle in the ninth. This guy can do the same thing. Great play by Nolan at first to leave the bases loaded. Parker Nolan flags down a ball that might have been extra bases. Stays a 7-7 game. Hit down to third, knocked down by Diaz. Infield hit for Vaz to start the 10th. Squares pulls the bat back, a rocket to first, and this will be a double play as Hernandez walks to the base. That's just some bad luck right there. Yeah. Thanks. Slowly hit to the left side for Diaz, charges, and we'll move on to the 11th. Base hit for Vanderbilt in the 10th. We remain tied at seven. And a four pitch walk to start the 11th. Chet in the ninth and drove in a run. Called on to bunt here, puts it down third base side. Davis Diaz makes the play to first, and Keto does the job again as he advances Randall Diaz to second. One two from Schultz, does a great job. Fans Ross to strand the go ahead run at third. To the right side, kicked by the second baseman. Erdinette has had a great night. Couldn't get that one in Bradfield. The man you want on the base when you need one run. You're faced in the ninth inning. Bradfield takes off. The throw not nearly in time. Going to try to get an extra 90. He might wheel him. He might. Ooh, I thought he was doing it. Erdinette got to the ball out in center field to keep Bradfield from coming around. Make it Schaefer went and retrieved the ball. 2-1 to Jones. Got Left it. side. A winner for the Commodores. Vanderbilt walks it off in the 11th. Spencer Jones, the game-winning hit to score Enrique Bradfield. Holy cow. That was a complete, complete team effort. <laughs> wow. Goodness.